we're gonna drive over to a property we have. What I wanna do is take some photos that I can use for animation rendering. So I'm gonna take these photo, 360 photos inside several of the rooms, and then I'm gonna use those in some 3D models and iClone. So I'm gonna take you through the process of how I convert those 360 images into 3D models, which quickly bring in some assets and things like that to uh, make some animation. So since I'm doing an exploratory little, little first animation film, this is uh, one of the ways that I'm trying to get around some of the extensive 3D modeling and do some things quicker. We'll drive over there now. I'm gonna get the key from Carolyn so she can unlock it and then uh, go take some photos. Oh, good. I guess. No, that's good. Ten second timer. Okay, so I've pulled the photos from the GoPro onto my phone. I'm gonna upload these to uh, Google Photos and download them and start creating the 3D model of these images uh, in just a little while, right? Once this other rendering thing finishes, then I'll maybe work on that a little bit. If you haven't already, head over to Walkabout Worlds and download the Paramodeler. This will allow you to get these files and what you do is you save one of your 360 images into a folder and drag it onto the .bat file. That will open up the image inside a special editor. First thing we do is straighten this image so you control click, control click on all the vertical areas in the room. So just go around the room, select anything you can that's vertical just to help this thing straighten out a little bit. Save fixed image and you see it locks into place. And then we'll go to Walkabout Editor. This brings up the floor plan first, and uh, we can move this in, zoom in. And same here, we we'll just control click, control left click around the room on each corner. You don't have to be too precise. We're gonna adjust this once we get in 360. So now we have the four corners. We'll go to add the include top, because we want the ceiling and 360. Now you can see it's placed a green box, green and blue box around the room. You can adjust the bottom corners, right click to move the top up and set it in place. Now you've got all the pieces, so we'll do exit and we'll do save. Make sure you save before you try to build this. So once you hit that little 3D model, it'll build, include all the elements, say super high and okay. Now this is pretty quick, this is in real time here, and it goes through and builds the model from your image. You can check this by copy clipboard, go to Chrome or any browser and paste this in. Now you can go in and see what your model is actually going to look like once you import the OBJ So it creates all these folders. This is one that contains the actual model. So we'll close all this stuff down and I'm gonna open up SketchUp. And we'll do import. We'll import this OBJ. You can see it comes in at a wonky angle. So we wanna just kinda rotate this thing around until we got it where we want it. You can also see a diagonal line, a diagonal line through the roof, the ceiling. That is how the model is basically separated in two different pieces. And you'll see we run into a little bit of a issue with that later on, but I'll show you the fix to solve that. So let's get inside here. I'm gonna adjust my field of view. So I'll have a little wider angle to the 20, 20 millimeter lens. And now you can see we're inside the room made from a 360 image, so that was pretty fast. Fast way to uh, create that room. Now what I wanna do is 
I'm gonna explode this and then I'm gonna add a um, you can see all the little if you display hidden geometry you can see all the little triangulated faces that are used to make up this model now those faces are not necessarily um, needed because they have um, it's just a, one surface but what, what I found is it's really difficult to try to map this image to the uh, to the face if you try to redraw it as one single plane or if you try to clean it up um, by reducing the number of triangles and things like that so we'll delete this little window out and we'll add in one of our own windows to give it a little bit more three-dimensionality and, uh, and detail this is a window from flex tools you can see you can customize and adjust um, all the little pieces and parts scale things without it messing messing up the uh, component proportions this is also uh, a hefty tool profile builder allows you to build profiles really quickly so I'll bring this into Lumion just to test how it looks here ultimately I'll bring this into iClone um, and this will be one of the rooms for an animated movie that I'm exploring but I wanted to see because Lumion's really fast I wanted to see how it operated inside Lumion so I'm going to add a couple plants outside the window so now I'll set up this image you can see in the left corner of the back wall there's a weird like white strip happening and um, that's where the model is seamed it goes up the back wall and across the ceiling there which is not great And it shows up in the rendering too. So I'll show you how to fix that. Let's uh, close this and then I'll go back into SketchUp to fix that line. I'm gonna basically hide the light from entering that crack. So I'm gonna build a box around the model, delete out some of the faces because we still do want sunlight to come in. We just don't want it to hit that portion of the model so I'm gonna mask out that area so now sunlight can't get through to affect that vertical and top line and you can see it disappears now but you from inside the model you could never tell that there was a box surrounding this this room and that is how you uh, take a 360 image and bring it into um, 3D modeling. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, subscribe and uh, look forward to seeing and hearing your comments on this and future videos.